in times of conflict, um, it, you know, it, it often people get polarised in their views, and uh, the current uh, Israel and Palestine conflict is no different. And often it's very uh, challenging to get views or diversity of views expressed by a particular conflict. And it takes very brave people to actually uh, talk about a conflict and not, part, not tow the party line. Today I'd just like to take this opportunity to congratulate a group of people in Australia who have formed the New Jewish Council of Australia, which is a diverse coalition of Jewish academics, lawyers, writers and teachers. They are experts on anti-Semitism and racism and were formed in response to the rise of racism and anti-Semitism in Australia. They, like the rest of us, are particularly concerned about the rise of neo-Nazi activities, fascism and far-right extremism. They are all proud Jewish people, made up of graduates of Jewish high schools, lifelong members of synagogues, etc. This group, though, provides an alternative view about the current uh, Israel and Palestine and Palestine uh, conflict. Uh, Louise Adler, who would be well known to South Australians, um, she said the Jewish Council is an important, important initiative. The next generation of Australian Jews is resisting the pressure applied by the Jewish establishment to defend Israel and the occupation. Refusing to turn the line comes at a real personal cost, so I commend the individuals involved in their moral courage and commitment to peace and justice. Sir, those comments I fully endorse and congratulate these people.